If climatologists around the world had a red SOS button, then at the end of 2019, they definitely would have pushed it. Previously considered to be stable, the Vavilov ice cap on the deserted Russian archipelago of Severnaya Zemlya suddenly began to slide rapidly into the sea. It's hard to believe, but between 2013 and 2019, the glacier lost 9.5 billion tons of ice, which is 11% of its original mass. What are scientists afraid of? Is climate chaos awaiting us? And how do other glaciers on the planet behave? Today, Riddle is expected to freeze. Better go get your hat and mittens. There were no signs of trouble. For a long time, the Arctic remained a relatively stable region. Its glaciers lying above sea level were hardly affected by warm seawater. But by 2015, the speed of the Vavilov ice cap's movement increased from 5 centimeters, or 2 inches per day, up to 30 centimeters, or 1 foot. Over the course of a year, the glacier traveled 4 kilometers, or 2.5 miles, and lost so much ice that it would be enough to cover the entire state of Washington with a thin layer of water. Now, the Sprinter has accelerated to 5 to 10 meters, or 16 to 33 feet per day. The reason for the glacier's accelerated rate of melting was its movement to less stable bottom sediments. After the lower part of the ice cap became wet, the water from melting ice served as a kind of lubricant, and the glacier began to pick up speed. A warm 2012 might also have affected the glacier's rate of melting. Scientists have no doubt, for the first time they're seeing the birth of a unique natural phenomenon, an ice stream. And it all began with just typical glacier surge. Whether this phenomenon occurs in the life of a glacier only once or regularly, it doesn't represent any danger, nor does it depend on the climate. Like a living organism, the glacier seeks to free itself from stress, cracks with a roar, frees itself from tons of ice, and then it recovers and overgrows with a new layer of ice. A sharp but short-term increase in the speed of movement of the ice mass occurs, but not this time. In the case of the Vavilov ice cap, it is neither stopped nor slowed down. Today, its speed is about 5 kilometers or 3 miles per year, and this process doesn't appear to be reversible. Satellite images clearly show the entire western wing of the Vavilov ice cap has entered the ocean. If only one glacier rapidly melted, you could sleep soundly. But no, someone or something has given a death sentence to the massive ice cover of planet Earth, and the executioner's name is global warming. For example, the ice cover of Greenland from 2003 to 2017 decreased by 3.5 trillion tons. In the record heat of July 2019 alone, Greenland lost another 197 billion tons of ice. This amount would be enough to fill about 80 million Olympic-sized pools. But just recently, a balance was observed. The volume of snow falling in winter was approximately equal to the volume of ice melting in summer. Warm ocean water moving under huge glaciers also helps the ice melting process. German scientists studied the system of one of the largest glaciers in Greenland, the so-called 79N Glacier. Under one of its sections, they found a hollow space about 2 kilometers or 1.2 miles wide with a ledge, along the bottom of which warm water from the Atlantic flows directly to the glacier. This is a kind of barrier. After overcoming it, the water accelerates. Thus, the base of the glacier is subjected to increased underwater impact and the melting process gains speed. The hollow itself is growing. Over the past few years, its depth has increased by 15 meters, or 49 feet. The same situation is observed at the base of the glacier Zachariah Istrum. Perhaps to blame is the shape of the seabed along all of Greenland. However, scientists have yet to verify this claim. Alaska is also melting. Over the past 50 years, 
the largest U.S. state has warmed up to 2 degrees Celsius or 4 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's a lot, because throughout the rest of the planet, the temperature rose by only 1 degree Celsius or 2 degrees Fahrenheit. For a long time, the Taku Glacier in the Juneau Ice Field remained one of the few that stood firm against the effects of global warming. Taku is 1,480 meters or 4,855 feet thick and is one of the largest mountain glaciers in the world. Over the past half century, it's been gathering mass and generally spreading further towards the nearby river. But it could not withstand the effects of the weather and in the fall of 2019 began to melt. This was in contrast to the forecasts of scientists who expected to see the first signs of melting only after 80 years. And again, the record hot summer of 2019 played an important role here, due to which the glacier lost a large part of its mass. Over the past quarter century, Antarctica has lost almost 3 trillion tons of ice, which led to a rise in sea level by 7.6 millimeters or 0.3 inches, of which 3 millimeters or 0.1 inches was lost just in the last five years. So, the Ross Ice Shelf, the largest ice shelf in Antarctica, has experienced an increasing rate of ice melt due to the warm surface waters of the ocean heated by the sun. Its area is comparable in size to France and amounts to 487,000 square kilometers or 188,000 square miles. Researchers from New Zealand studied the interaction of the glacier with the ocean for four years and issued a disappointing verdict. The glacier's melting faster than previously thought. It turned out that next to the glacier is the so-called Ross Sea Palinia, which warms up quickly in the summer and accelerates the melting. Scientists even managed to record the drift of the melting glacier. Can you hear it? Who knew that a block of ice can sing to us? Perhaps it's asking people to change their minds and begin to be more careful about the environment. Maybe the glacier is singing a farewell song to its brother, Thwaites Glacier, which is considered the most dangerous in Antarctica. Situated in the Amundsen Sea, this glacier covers an area comparable to the size of Florida, and scientists are seriously worried about its rate of melting. Just imagine, from 1978 to 2009, the glacier lost a quarter of its mass. Thwaites Glacier moves 800 to 2,000 meters, or 2,600 to 6,600 feet annually, and accounts for 4% of the global rise in sea level. However, the entire Antarctic ice cover melts almost six times faster than 40 years ago. In the 1980s, Antarctica lost 40 billion tons of ice annually. Over the past decade, this number has grown to 252 billion tons per year. In the winter of 2019, a giant cavity with a depth of more than 300 meters or almost a thousand feet was discovered under the glacier. The impressive find was further proof of the rapid melting. Scientists fear that after reaching a certain point, the Thwaites Glacier melting can no longer be halted even if the temperature of the Earth stops growing. Then the glacier could lose all of its ice in 150 years. This will increase global sea level by half a meter, or 1.6 feet, according to the author of the study from NASA, Helene Serousi. Other glaciers abut the Thwaites Glacier. If it disappears, its brothers will face the same fate. The most difficult challenge for the scientific community is to understand the mechanisms of ice melt in order to give reliable forecasts of sea level rise. For the time being, scientists are drawing a pessimistic scenario for the future. Even if we significantly limit greenhouse gas emissions in the coming decades, more than a third of the remaining glaciers in the world will melt before 2100. According to various estimates, by 2100, the rise in sea level may increase by about a meter or three feet. In addition, 
The melting of ice in a scenario with a temperature increase of 3 to 4 degrees Celsius or 5 to 7 degrees Fahrenheit compared to the middle of the 19th century will lead to an increase in the number of natural disasters and force people to leave the equatorial regions. With the melting of sea ice, many animals in the far north will lose their home and fishing in coastal areas will suffer billions in losses due to the fact that fish will cease to spawn. It's a given that glaciers melt, and it's unlikely that this process can be reversed. But each of us can help the planet and contribute to the fight against global warming. You can reduce or eliminate your use of cars or use a bicycle or scooter at least once a week. You can hang your laundry out to dry on a clothesline rather than using an electric dryer and unplug electrical appliances that you don't use. You can sort your garbage for recycling. All this will help reduce CO2 emissions and slow down the rate of warming. Awareness about everything is the trend of 2020. So before you turn off your gadget, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.